A University of Otago violinist has been appointed as the 11th concertmaster of the Southern Sinfonia. Tessa Peterson has a long association with the orchestra and she joins us to talk about her new role. Good evening. Good evening. Congratulations. Thank you. What does a concertmaster do? Well, uh, if I were to refer to a rugby team, I would describe a symphony orchestra as being like a large rugby team and as the concertmaster I would be charged by them as their leader, as their captain. <laughs> so how is this going to be a different role for you? Uh, well, I have led the orchestra in the past and I have um, led other orchestras in the past, but um, recently I've played as a member of the orchestra and so I play as part of a team of you know, highly experienced, trained musicians and you defer to your concertmaster in that sense, so mm. I'm stepping up to that that role now. What are you mm. most excited about with this change? Well, uh, Simon Nova has come in as our new principal guest conductor and I'm really looking forward to working closely with him. And it's always a thrill to work with visiting conductors as well and soloists and uh, the new repertoire that we'll be looking at as well. Mm. How much of your time is spent with the orchestra? Well, we have a subscription concert, so we have about five concerts a year in that and other concerts as well, but uh, service um, w concerts as well. And so we come together for about a week every time we have a concert, but there's background work to be done approaching a concert as well, like for the concert master, it's doing bowings and uh, liaising with the conductor and the manager and that sort of thing as mm. well. So. Tell us about your musical beginnings. Well, I very much grew up in Dunedin and I'm very much a product, I'm proud to say I'm a product of, of the Dunedin musical education scene. I started very young uh, violin at four and the piano at six and worked my way through all the Saturday morning recorder and uh, orchestras mm. and had many, many wonderful violin teachers in this city. Uh, so that was how I became a violinist. Mm. Mm. And you each also teach violin at the university. Yes, yes. How did that come about? Well, I've always loved teaching and performing, and so I've developed those two threads of my career from the very beginning. And I just happened to decide with my family to move back here in 2006 for the quality of education for my children. And it was very fortuitous that the position became vacant about mm. a year after that. So. What yeah. is the most challenging aspect of pursuing a career in music? I think one has to be very versatile these days. Um, you have to take every opportunity and you have to be ready to step up and play your very best at any moment, rather like that all black that's been brought in, uh, flown in to replace somebody. You have to be ready to go um, at a moment's notice and always to play your best because you never know who's going to be watching or listening mm. to that performance. Are there many opportunities for young viol violinists these days? I think it's more difficult these days and I think the, the key thing is that a, a student can't just expect to live in a practice room for six years and then emerge and say, okay, where's my job? They actually have to go out and seek their employment and seek the opportunities mm. and to make new opportunities for themselves as musicians. Mm. But it is possible. <laughs> and what do you hope to achieve as concertmaster? Well, I would like to develop the string sound even more. I'm, as concertmaster, I'm in charge, in a way, of developing that string sound, um, working closely with the other principals, the Principal Wind, uh, Nick Cornish's Principal Oboe, and um, just to also bring the orchestra to new audiences as well. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations once again on Thank the position. Thank you very much. Thank Tessa you. Peterson from the Southern Sinfonia. Thanks for your time. Thank you.